Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. If you so kindly hit that subscribe button to give this video a thumbs up and share share and like this video, I would really very much appreciate it. This is the second part of the last video I did on how to create a um, volcano in Oladez Maya. And this is a rendered version of the volcano. And um, this was very simple to do. Okay. And I'm going to show you how, how I was able to create this um, epic scene here with this volcano exploding in the sky here. How, how I created this um, the sky effect and the explosion. Okay, I showed you on the last video. Um, I explained to you in the last video how I was able to create, the, how we created the terrain using the soft modification tool and then we put a texture map on it and we use a fractal bump map to give it that, um, like that rocky volcanic terrain. I showed you how to do that in the last video. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the particle effects and the clouds and everything in the sky and the explosion from the volcano, which is very simple to do. It's, okay, I'm going to show you a shortcut of doing this. Okay, the first thing I did, I went into the visor menu, which you go here in Windows, go in the general editor and you go right into visor. Visor had a lot of pen effects tools in here that you can use for your um, for your scene. And the one that I used was called the cloud and fog and the explosion one. Okay. The cloud the, the, the cloud cloud and fog menu, which is here, I used the afternoon clouds and what I did was I added to my scene by clicking on it and hit the middle mouse button and you just bring it right into your scene just like that and then after I did that I went into the attribute editor and I went into the shading menu down here okay and then what I was what I did was in the um, in the color part here in this menu here I changed it to like an orange, I changed the sky into like an orange type of um, color and I added some gray and I did it down in this, uh, in the, it's called the incandescent um, menu in the shading, the shading tool down here. I kind of added some more colors here to kind of give it that, um, that fiery type of look. Okay. That actually when a volcano erupts, it's like lighting up the sky and sending smoke everywhere. Okay, that's why this this is how I was able to do it by using these two um, these two tools right here. Okay, and then after that, <clears throat> and then I use what you call the explosion tool. All right, just right here, it's called the nuke effect. It's like a nuclear explosion. So basically what I did was I just grabbed, I, I just add, added this, double clicked on this, and brought this into my scene. And this is what you see right here. This is what you see right here. So let me render this for you again so you can see. Just a second, let's do this one more time. One more time. And um, I'm using the Mental Ray. This is all being rendered in Mental Ray, not Maya software, but Mental Ray. So if I render all these frames, I think it's, I, I made this using maybe on my timeline, maybe 2000 frames. 
So if I would render every frame and make the video, you would see it actually like really, exp you know, creating a lot of, you know, a lot of fire and lots of explosions and everything, you know. So but I just wanted to show you this one render image. So I think you got a pretty much um, idea of how I did this. And this is the way how you create a, um, a volcano. And then also I did the same thing with the, let me, um, let me stop this because I think you pretty much got an idea how this is going to look. And then I did the same thing on the nuke fluid too also. The same thing I did in the clouds, how I manipulated the color, I did the same thing in the fluid effect of the um, nuclear explosion. I went in here, I kind of played with the colors. You could, it takes, you know, um, and this, this has a lot of lot of features here. You can really spend a lot of time, you know, tweaking these colors and everything, and the and, and the transparency and everything of the smoke smoke effect from the volcano. So, but um, that's it. So I hope you got something out of this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share, like the video, and um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.